Okay, so not to become again the the Valve person or even the AI person, uh, but some people have been asking me about where these two things connect, and that is that uh, AI content on Steam and Valve's policy change, and for all the freaking out why I'm not freaking out there. Again, I am biased. I like Valve. I've worked there. Uh, friends on the team. I know they take these con into consideration seriously and thoughtfully. But there's also another reason, right? So first of all, when I talk about AI, we're talking about a very specific thing of AI. And this is, in this case, and it's generative AI. That's AI that uses other pieces of data to build new content. And in Valve's change, uh, I just back in June, we uh, shared that while our goal uh, continues to be shipping as many games as possible on Steam, we needed time to learn about the fast moving and legally murky space of AI technology, especially given Steam's worldwide reach. Uh, and so now they've been learning about it. And so now you have to do a content survey of saying about like essentially saying you own the content of your game when you when you submit your game. So now when you submit it, you actually have to call out to AI usages uh, and that's pre-generated or live generated, meaning stuff that was like making art that was put into the game and then stuff like NPCs reacting to you and they're using AI. Um, but now they're not saying that all of this will just be accepted. What they're saying is you need to let us know that this is in here. And one of the reasons they need to do this, the big one, right, is while I think a lot of people look at this and they think of like Midjourney, who's just flat out said they steal from artists. And if you use Midjourney to create textures and stuff, you're stealing from artists. Um, there's a bunch of other tools um, from ChatGPT itself, where you can just train it on your own data to things like Adobe, where they've licensed uh, art to be used in their tools. And developers use those tools. I use AI. Okay, I use AI, I use ChatGPT as the best documentation of Unreal that I know of when I'm working in Blueprints. Um, now that's not generative AI, that, that has to be listed here, but you also have code, some code assist things that people use now and a bunch of other tools that are not caught up in this, we need to scan every Disney movie ever, um, and otherwise our AI doesn't work kind of controversy. But like things like Mid Journey definitely are. Right, and so Valve wants to try to separate those two and say, hey, there's actually valid, valid uses for these tools and for this technology, which is the same thing I keep saying when people say I'm against AI, I'm not. There's a bunch of valid uses, a bunch of ways that we can really um, harness this energy and use it as a tool. But it also has a bunch of negative uses and Valve's trying to split the difference here, I think, and, and say these, no, mid journey, you say you putting in an artist and saying, you know, steal me everything from, you know, Kenneth Scott's work and put it in my game. You can't do that. Um, but, uh, you know, if you've created a bunch of artwork and you want to be able to generate more quickly um, without hand doing everything, you do that, right? Already, there's tools in artwork to help you do this with your own work. And this is like just taking it further. I mean, hell, think of things like Houdini, which is crazy amount of... AI technology inside of there and just technology in general. And so I think Valve's just trying to split the difference here and that's why I wasn't freaking out about it. So I don't think you should freak out about it. It's not gonna be like there's like, there, there is no magical button of press this button and shoot out a game in AI, right? Uh, if you forget, this is the uh, AI version of the A-team. And I'm not worried. Uh, uh, a team. Uh, uh. Team is a high octane action-packed series that takes us on a wild ride through the world of superheroes with its quirky blend of humor and heart this show is a must watch for fans of all age got that voice ah uh, okay but right again then yeah this is early days but there's never just going to be a make a game button right it's kind of like we've been making the joke of add multiplayer is not a click make multiplayer an unreal button for the past 15 years, right? So we are a long way off from anything like that being available or being able to happen. But what AI can do is it can help you as a, as a developer um, kind of expedite how you work. Um, so yeah, I think it's a reasonable splitting of the hairs and we will see how it comes out in reality. Uh, and I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping it's not a big flood of games because the discoverability on uh, Steam continues to be probably the biggest problem for uh, developers. So 